Denmark to serve. Low ball, play. So Denmark get the 2016 Thomas Cup final underway. And what a great start by the tall day. Just under six foot three. And that he is a man who's been working on his agility, working with a gymnastic coach. towards the end of his career, perhaps middle of his career towards the end. Swedish gymnastics coach. Yeah. Well, he does use his height well, does Victor Axelsson. side of the court playing with the drift in uh, the first game well that's interesting psychology in itself isn't it is is it a, a, qu a question of right when I'm fresh perhaps with the difficult side of the court where it's difficult to clear and you've got to attack more yeah it's better for me or is it you know if you if you're going to go to three games then you finish yeah. at the good end yeah i think so yeah it's a good rally well played well played by the tracks it's interesting scene you said right at the start that they had exceeded their expectations Five, coming two. here being in the final they were of course the number two seeds but they became the number two seeds taking into account the fact that Carsten Morgensen was one of the highest ranks at doubles pairs and even though he wasn't fit to come and participate here that helped towards the seeded position yeah and, and especially the uh, semi-final against Malaysia Denmark was missing um, three of its normal starters yeah. And still managed to, uh, to come back. There's a challenge here. Yeah, that's, that's, def out. that's definitely out. Uh, Hawkeye and the instant review system. Hawkeye have some high speed cameras looking down the lines. And they look at it frame by frame. And it's out. Good call, line judge. Six two. Indonesia has one challenge remaining. Play. You can see from the uh, spectator seating all the Danish uh, reserves. Matthias Christensen, he sort of uh, started where he left. In the match against Malaysia, I think he was probably the most tired player against Malaysia because he'd been cheering for five hours non-stop. Yeah, of course, the short lift. Yeah, we were a little bit worried about him at the end of that <laughs> semi-final. He left, leapt from the stands down onto the field of play. Well, that's got to be at least two metres high, isn't it? Worried he might do some damage, but he was so enthusiastic all the way through, really entering into the team spirit. That's very, very good to see. Oh. 
Oj, 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 oj. Slut. His agility work has perhaps yeah, saved that, an injury. That's what really helps. I've seen some of the exercises that um, they're doing. Three, oh, he's running on all four, and I can tell you, with Peter Gary, he was quite fast on all four. Right. Very sensible, played uh, three shots at the beginning of that rally to the deep backhand corner of Axelson because that's where he slipped and he thought, well, Victor Axelson may be a little bit tentative to move to that deep backhand corner. It's all part of the game, that's not being unsportsmanlike. Yeah, there's some flash photography behind the courts. Some of these stages. Four seven. Talk to the Danes, and, and of course they felt that uh, Victor he. Uh, Struck above, struck above the waist, that is, well, we need to look at it again. That is unusual. Victor, there's a problem with the service fault, you come to me. It's really important to uh, keep his cool here, Victor Axelson, because... Uh, yeah, yes, Victor. Ah, well, maybe the umpire actually has a case there. This is an inc incident that could uh, make you lose Five, your composure and yeah. it's better to stay away from them. Yeah. Uh, that's one of the questions marks that I still have in, in this match here. I think Lutzer has played a great tournament so far and I think he's um, acted uh, more calm and I, and I think the European title that he won a couple of weeks ago in France has um, helped him a lot. Yeah. European singles champion for the first time. But this is a different situation. Yeah. The Danes are, are hoping for him to start them off well, and yeah. they feel that Sugata might be a little bit injured. Uh, he's got a strapping on his um, back thigh, his left back thigh, and, and the Danes suspect that, that he's not totally fit. Um, Increasing Victor's chances, but this is a different situation. This is the World Championship final. You're a little bit favourite, and um, yeah, now it's up to you to sort of deliver. Yeah, and, and that's different than all the other matches. And interesting to see how that psychology goes. Yeah, that's well played. Very well played. It, it's interesting that you say that, Steen, because in the introduction uh, to Victor Axelson, I mentioned the fact that he was that game point up against former world number one Lee Chong Wei when Lee Chong Wei challenged the call and then he immediately lost the next three points. Now, yeah. whether, whether that was all psychological, but he did just seem to lose his way a little bit, didn't he, after that? Yeah, he actually mentioned a couple of words of it uh, because. Um, Apparently, uh, not all have been happy with the Danish uh, behaviour, especially in the, the relations where they've been unhappy. Uh, that was one of the incidents. Yeah. I don't think that was uh, any uh, significance in that. Then, uh, because they had the opportunity if he was if he was really limited in his um, play they had the opportunity of putting in uh, Jonathan Christie in, in the first men's single and sti still maintaining uh, 
Anthony Ginting and uh, Mustafa. Mustafa in the uh, third man single. So uh, I hope that Tommy's experience can help him here against uh, the young Dane. Steady, not giving away three points, making Victor earn all his points. And then, of course, the Venetians, they look carefully through the videos and seen that sometimes mistakes creep into the game of the chances. Yeah. Well, I hate to say it, I mean, you and I watched him. Um, two or three times last year where he had a healthy lead in a deciding game and then lost several points whether it's nerves or whether it's but the errors can come yeah that's the uh, the stakes are raised in uh, in these situations and uh, six rear court winners to one in favor of axis and yeah yeah i'm not surprised by that he, he's He's hit down some good smashes, hasn't he? Yeah. It's Sugiato who makes an error. And it is a two-point advantage at the mid-game interval for Denmark. I think it's really, really good when you still have a variety of your forebane in regard to that he is very early over. Dreje ham en lille smule mere, gerne en gang med ind mod midten. Og så hvis du kommer højt på den, så må du gerne ligge i vinklen. Ja. Og baglinjer. Nej. Hvis du er god på så må du gerne slå hårdt. Ellers så skal vi de bløde med. Jeg har vendt på lige at vende. Ja. En enkelt transport bare en gang ind mod kroppen også. Axelson gets ready to serve. Steen, what was said to him in that interval? Yeah, it was mostly uh, reinforcements and, and something about um, uh, the strategy on the front court, get some variations in uh, the shots, sometimes play to the middle. And the theory behind playing to the middle, just cutting down the angle of reply? Probably, yeah. Thinking uh, Tommy Sugiato would play past Victor and his uh, long reach. Okay. Good start after the interval by uh, Victor Axelson. Yes. He seemed, seemed very concentrated during yeah. that um, interval there. I'm not sure he heard everything with, uh, what Kenneth uh, tried to. But given what, tell him. given what we were saying about sometimes when there's an incident and he got faulted, that's clearly, he got faulted on his flick serve, you know, the mind can wander. So I, that's excellent from a Danish point of view that he has refocused. Yeah, yeah. Thank 
just a rally. Long rally. Should be to the beneficiary of um, Tommy Sofiato. Let's see how it ends. That's in. Oh, it's wide. Oh, it's wide. That's a good call. Yeah, very good judgment. 45 shots. put his hand down on the floor. The umpire being very strict here about the number of times the court attendant is going to be allowed to come on to mop up the perspiration. I really don't like that um, uh, sort of trend the umpires have been setting in this tournament where they won't allow the court to be mobbed. Uh, they want the players to wipe the sweat off in their shirt and so on. And, and, and I think it might uh, have the uh, uh, opportunity to bother the uh, chances. I mean, he, he's a tall player. Yeah. Um, he's fit, but, but I mean, as you're tall, you're also a little bit heavy. Well, when Tommy Saviato as the server wants to change the shuffle, it's very, very unusual, but he's not allowed to do so. as we looked at them, was the hero from the semi-final, Emil Holst. Not selected, of course, for today, Holst. the uh, deciding uh, phase of this first game here and it becomes interesting to see how the two players react to that. We need to control the nerves, keep the mental discipline, keep to the game plan. Yeah, to try 
across the cross court. Yeah, also something that uh, the opposition might pick up on that the soft Seven. shot below the tape leaves a lot extra work. You have to judge how much speed can you put into it. Maybe you underestimate the difficulty of the shot. coach's bench for reassurance yeah and, and normally there's a lot of communication going on between Big Sarkos and uh, Ken Jonathan so that's not so new then got to be focused here that's well played yeah what a magnificent yeah. smash He the chances and moved too quickly. The service return. There's Matthias Christensen. Yeah, he looks quite a character, doesn't he? The, uh, He's a very good mixed doubles player. Main cheerleader. Well. Yeah, very good mixed player. Yeah. Very big talent. just caught off balance I think it was a it was a lovely idea from Sugiato to lift the defensive shot back up high it just wasn't high and deep enough Sugiato trying to defend the smash with a lift. And again, it's giving Axelson an opportunity. And now it's game point opportunities, four of them. Oh, good serve, my goodness. Body movement that round the headshot looked awfully stiff yeah. as if he was tight and tense. Well, that's understandable. game to Denmark 21-17 Denmark off to the start they wanted yeah clearly long 21-17 in 25 minutes well All the players that can come back and has got the fitness to come back, stamina. It's Tommy Sumiato, so Denmark might be one game up, but if you're an Indonesian fan, don't give up yet. This man will fight all the way. Yeah. 
Permasalahannya di mana? Ada masalah. Masih kuat ya, bisa ya. Yang penting apa? Sikap, sikap ya. Ya, uang kirinya tuh harus dihindarin ya. the dancers and the music well, we could hear what was being said to Tommy Sugiato but we didn't understand it and we couldn't hear what was being said to Victor Axelson so I I've got to ask you Steen what would you say to like Victor Axelson if that had been you down there yeah try, try to uh, keep the pressure on uh, Tommy Sugiato and uh, I think Victor has played a really good first game. Um, it's not like Tommy is scoring a whole lot of points on him. Um, Hello. Try to play as much of his own game as possible, and the opportunities they they will occur. Yeah. Um, stay focused. And all the cliches, one rally at a time, and all that. Yeah. It's because it's that's that's the correct thing to do. Yeah. And in contrast, for Tommy Sugiato, would you want to see him being a little more proactive in the rallies yeah. if, if, if you if were he, an Indonesian coach? If he can, he, he should uh, try and speed up a little bit. Uh, it's, it's, um, speed of shot or speed of movement? Speed of movement and, and speed of shot as well. But it's imperative that, that he doesn't commit too many mistakes because, I mean, still basically let Victor win this by himself and let's see if he can do that. Yeah. I think I'll try to keep the shot, shot a little bit low and, and see if I can stay at the net uh, a bit more in order not to give Victor these high lifts because he's been really uh, clinical with those in, in the first game. looks for the straight block and then just guides the shuttle across court at the net. Success at a very young age became a world junior champion uh, when he was only 16. And since then, there's, there's been a lot of expectation on his uh, shoulders. I feel that in this tournament, it's loosened up a little bit. He's got his first senior title as a European champion. But this is uh, another level. This is the world championship final. Pretty sure that if you, if you could make this a regular tournament match, second round, China Open, pretty sure Vitsa would win it, but um, it's not. Yeah. Much more important. Sugiato. Yeah, a couple of big gulps of air from Victor Axelson. That was a tough, tough rally. Longest rally of the match so far. Uh, shaking his legs a little bit. He, he had some trouble with his left leg here um, earlier on in, in the season. Um, Singapore, um, no, sorry, India, Malaysia, Singapore. Sorry, who who are we talking about? Victor Axel's ah. got some, something in his left leg. He felt he wasn't really uh, doing what he wanted it to. 
Yeah. You could, couldn't sort of emphasize it when the list it was wrong. It just didn't feel right. Okay. Felt that it, it uh, had a tendency to cramp and um, suspected that he might have been practicing too hard during um, January and February where there were no super series tournaments. Searching and learning person that uh, likes to explore what there is of new uh, science and new ways of doing things and then decide for himself whether he wants to take uh, something along from what he reads or, yeah. or sees. And, yeah, and that's a very good attitude to have. It is. I, I mean, I'm just thinking back to your comments just a moment ago about, you know, this is a whole different situation. It's not the China Open Super Series, this is the World Championship final men's team competition. You know, and it, it went through my mind, you can't just live on potential. No. There is a time when you have to step up to the plate yeah. and you have to start delivering. And in my mind, this is where Axelsen needs to start delivering. I know that sounds tough, but that's what I think. He's now the number one player from his country. Yeah. He's a European champion. You have to deliver in these situations. So far in the campaign, he has delivered. He has delivered in, yeah. in, a, in a good way. Yes. And, and the things that we're interested in, uh, why we're mentioning this, is that the stakes have been raised. Yeah. It's, it's even more important now. He's not playing from uh, from uh, behind. Uh, he's not the underdog in this match. Uh, he might be the favorite. Yeah. And uh, yeah. these are the situations that are. That are difficult, but, but people have handled them before him, and, and um, you have to learn how to handle them. up high. Watch his racket head coming forward. That's terrific. Racket held high. Can hold the shot. Yeah. 
steeply down the forehand side of Subiaco this time. Good variation. I don't think uh, unless Victor gets really nervous, I don't think Tommy Subiaco can withstand the attack if the lifts are that high. I just think there's too many variations from uh, the day. He's got to try to play a little bit flatter lifts like this one. from Sugiato. Look at his balance and poise. Sugiato waited for it. He knew he's got the strength and the speed to get back. He had that being lifted to the back of the court and therefore he takes the chance to wait at the net for the kill. Wasted challenge because my instinctive reaction was that that was long. Yeah, it's too long. That's not even close. a bit of uh, tension on the uh, Danish part of the court right now. Yeah, and I said this is a very crucial phase of the match. Yeah. Eleven eight, the advantage. Tommy Sugiato. I told you it was a fight at the This is where I feel that perhaps Victor has got to come up with one little surprise or something like that. So, for instance, how about a body smash if he gets the chance? by the net court. Okay. 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 
keep pushing. It will not prove to be significant. Since Adol, since he, Victor, he took that challenge, I don't think he took the challenge because he really uh, thought that he was in. I just think that he got really, really tensed at that moment and uh, that has given um, five quick points to Thomas Ugiato. Backhand side has uh, stiffened up a little bit, I sense. I discussed it earlier, you pointed it out, yeah. that the uh, backhand side is not as strong as the forehand side. You know, and I think that's an area that he's really worked on. I don't know yeah. for certain, but I can remember seeing him three or four years ago and his entire movement to that round the head position. Uh, he seemed to be very stiff in his legs, very stiff in his torso. Yeah. And that's why I thought he was making a lot of mistakes. And I think he's improved his movement a lot. But I guess when he gets nervous, you go back to that instinctive movement that you had to start with. No, that's that was good yeah, That was better. Yeah. You, you don't have to make... Excellent, fast-paced, hard-hitting smashes every time you have a chance in the back of the side. Sometimes it's just enough to, to maintain the control of the rally and maintain your balance. But a good lead for uh, Thomas Ugiato and I think pretty much what um, was in his game plan, to play a steady game and um, pick up the uh, easy points if they were there. are still expecting it. Yeah. That's the problem. I mean, of course they want better playing conditions without a threat. But if you're expecting it, then your whole game plan from the choosing of ends, which ends of the court you wish to start, yeah. all of that is, is affected. It is. Now, that is good movement. There's me talking about his movement yeah. around the head, that was superb. And, and I mean, of course, we don't know whether we're right in what we're discussing here, that, no. ten, that Victor sort of uh, got a little bit tense at eight or something like that. But anyway, we can see that it's not a paralyzing tension. It's just, I mean, if he's a little behind, then he seems to loosen up again and, and so on. And, and that's, in many ways, a good sign. Yeah, I can see water on. It's okay. Well, it's not That's okay. Not it is. Okay. Well, this is very, very yeah, unfortunate that. because I can see the wet patch on the court. You can see it. 
Well, that, now Victor's that's, joining. That's totally losing control of a match. That's yeah. not been unfair in any way. Victor is supporting him. Yeah. I, I see. Yeah. The two players are embracing and saying, look, we can see that it's still uh, wet the court surface. Good sportsmanship from Victor. Yeah. And, and terrible, I have to say, I think it's terrible umpiring. Yeah. I mean, the last Who's thing about to force a player to play on a wet surface. Yeah, and that's dangerous. to the back look at the disguise on that final shot from the net from Maxis and here it is it's a double hit looks as if he's going to hit it deliberately misses it plays it a second time in controlling the rally. players should have to yeah. deal with this during the World Championship Final. There's exactly. not been anything about anybody uh, delaying the game or anything. No. Why? Uh, and we can see Victor is dealing with it as well because he knows that it could be him in the next rally. Yeah, I know. When it's deep in that round the head position, yeah. isn't it? I could see the tension in the torso, the upper body. Instead of being that relaxed movement of the legs and the arch of the back. Sugiato. Wonderful control. Three point advantage. And three points in 
away, enforcing a third and deciding game. Well, so far, all players have played better from this near side of the court, which surprises me. It's too short. Look at the wry smile. Yeah. 17 18. Oh, oh that's long. That was a good deception, but overdid it. Back level. 18 all. Who's got the nerve? Run of four straight points, seeing Denmark back into the lead. You can see the goal line now, which is he survived the crisis. Yeah. He's dangerous now. Mystic. There are two match point opportunities on a run of five straight points for Victor Axelsson. Make that a run of six straight points. Twenty-one seventeen, twenty-one eighteen, and Victor Axelsson comes from fifteen eighteen down in that second game to take the opening match in the Thomas Cup final. <laughs> he's running to the fans, he's going to throw his racket and his shirt. Steady on, young man, that's enough. <laughs> I think we can safely say he's pretty happy to have won that one. And so he should be. So he should be. I, for one, thought when he was 15, 18 down, I thought we were going to be treated to a decider. But if you're a Danish fan, you will be very, very happy that Victor Axelsson has won in two straight games. 54 minutes for that victory. And Denmark are off to the perfect start in this Thomas Cup final. Well, I said he needed to deliver. Deliver he did. The man has perhaps come of age. There is confirmation, 21-17, 21-18 in 54 